walking into Wednesday like. You're really getting way into this stuff. I am not. Nah, really, I think you might be. Really? Uh, no. Go on with your bad self. Yeah! Am I losing it? Dude, what do you think? Firewood Frog, the restaurant. We'd have burgers and tacos and fries and onion rings and all kinds of stuff and big flames behind the grill and every seat in the restaurant would see the flames. It'd be amazing. No, no, this has nothing to do with music and all that stuff. No, no, I'm, why would I wear the wigs there? This is a restaurant for Firewood Frog and yeah i'm i thought you'd be happy about this it's a good idea uh no it wasn't my idea it was oscar's idea oscar's one of our clients yeah it was his idea it's a great idea now you like the idea because it wasn't my idea you like the idea holy cow welcome to the morning routine happy wednesday I'd eat at the Firewood Frog Restaurant. Sounds good. Hello and welcome to the morning routine on Wednesday. Welcome everybody. It is hot. It's gonna be hot today. So please make sure that you're drinking your water. Have plenty of water, have it with you if you're out and about outside make sure you're carrying water with you if you're getting warm inside make sure you have access to water keep yourself cool try and stay indoors a little bit if you got activities to do try and do them in the morning or in the evening once it cools off but make sure you're staying hydrated all right so where are we at it's wednesday having all kinds of fun this week if you didn't see yesterday's the morning routine we had a new guest wrote a pretty cool song he showed up on our instagram live last night if you didn't show up for this stuff, you're missing out. Go back, check it out, and then start showing up because you never know what is going to happen on any one of our episodes. Sometimes we don't even know, just the crazy stuff happens and we have so much fun with it. So check it out. All right, so coming up today, Facebook Live, one o'clock, Zach's gonna be doing some employment stuff again, but it's a little bit different. It's gonna have a little bit more fun with it. So be prepared for a little bit more fun with Zach. Not just the, let's go back in the past with Zach. It's gonna be a little bit more fun in the current with Zach. And then of course, 6.30 is the Instagram Live every single night. Pulled two new pieces of bingo last night. If you didn't hear what they were, you either gotta show up tonight and figure it out, or you gotta go back and watch some other episodes. Don't miss episodes. You're missing out if you do. So also our assignment this week has to do with the ever-evolving firewood frog man we came up with a cool idea last night thanks to oscar and uh, we developed this little <clears throat> idea of a firewood frog restaurant how cool would that be cool ideas there a lot of fun with that so thanks oscar for that really great idea and that fun little spark that we had a lot of enjoyment with last night now the assignment, though, has to do with Firewood Frog, not the restaurant, because it's not a restaurant. That's just kind of an idea we're kicking around. But what is Firewood Frog? What does it mean? Where does it come from? It's on Animal's shirt for a reason. It comes from somewhere. So what is it? The drawing this week, the assignment this week, is to draw your interpretation of what Firewood Frog means, is, where it came from, whatever right clayton showed us his last night it was really cool i'm not gonna tell you what it was because if you weren't there you missed out although be prepared to see a whole bunch more staff ideas because they're in on it too they want to know just as much as you guys do what the heck is a firewood frog and what the heck does it mean and where does it come from how do we shut carl up that 
is the challenge figuring out what firewood frog means. Okay, so that's the assignment. Draw, illustrate, whatever, what you think firewood frog means is blah, blah, blah. Send it to us on Facebook, just like it happened with all your assignments. Do Thursday night at 5.30. They're due for Thursday at 5.30. We will call it out on Friday. And as you know from the past, Sometimes, if you're the winner, someone might just be knocking on your door with a prize. Or, someone might show up at a later date. You just never know what we're going to do, how things are going to go down, right? But get your artwork into us Thursday, 5.30. Don't miss out. Okay, so a topic came up last night on the Instagram Live. Uh, one of our good friends, David Pizzo, he does not have a mask yet. And that's okay. Some of us don't have masks yet because, you know, we've been staying home. We've been doing our social distancing. <clears throat> but now it's time to start preparing for being out in the community again. It doesn't mean you need to go out. It doesn't mean that you have to go out and be around people. It just means that we're getting closer to those stages where your family, your friends, you're going to go out in the community again in different ways and you need to be prepared so get a mask go on amazon there's many different types of uh, cloth masks and whatnot that you can get on amazon there's many different companies on facebook that are selling masks there's a lot of individuals that are providing masks locally uh, some stores are selling masks uh, on racks and whatnot so they are out there you do just need to find one you need to have one now we did two episodes now of covering topics related to masks. One having to do with cleaning your masks because some masks, like we discussed, are disposable, one day use, one use, and those you just wear them for a little bit, throw them away. Other masks you can reuse, but you need to clean them. So there is a YouTube video, uh, The Morning Routine, from a few weeks back that has how to clean your masks. Last week, last Thursday, we did another video of the different types of masks and what they mean and how you use them, the throwaways, cloth ones, how you take care of them, what are some of the differences, how do you wear them appropriately. Go back and watch that episode. Very good information. We'll cover it again, I'm sure, because it's a very big topic. But for now, today, I want you to research where to find and purchase a mask. You're going to need one going out in the community. If you go into a store, you need to wear a mask. If you go into a restaurant, you need to wear a mask. When we go back to program, don't know when yet. We'll give you those, that information when we have it. We don't have it right now. But when we do go back to program, you'll need to wear a mask. So you need to be prepared. Prepare now. So I want everyone to start researching where they're going to get a mask. Okay? If you can't find a mask, Say you've been looking on Amazon, you've been looking at stores, you've been looking online, trying to find a mask and you can't find one, please message us. we got lots of resources we can help out with that, okay? All right, so everybody's been enjoying the involvement from the staff. In fact, Mr. David Pizzo, who still needs to get himself a mask, he said that what he really enjoys about these episodes is seeing the staff. We all miss the staff, we all miss one another, so it's great to see them here. So without further ado, here is some of your staff with some great fun information and entertainment for you. So good morning, everybody. Today, Wednesday, June 3rd, is National Repeat Day. So good morning, everybody. Today, Wednesday, June 3rd, is National Repeat Day. So good morning, everybody. Today, Wednesday, June 3rd, it's National Repeat Day. So, good morning. All right, we get it. It's National Repeat Day. Repeat Day. Repeat Day. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Today's quote is, A man's worth is no greater than his ambitions. And that was said by Marcus Aurelius. Have a good day. Bye. 
Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday, and we are halfway through this wonderful week. I hope everyone's staying cool. It's going to be a warm one out there today. It is June 3rd, 2020. And uh, with that being said, I hope uh, we've been enjoying the week again, once again. And uh, let's now take a look back in the past with Zach. In 1851, the first baseball uniforms, official baseball uniforms, were worn by the New York Knickerbockers. What they wore was straw hats, white shirts, and blue long trousers. Those were the official first baseball uniforms ever worn. In 1988, the movie Big, with Tom, starring Tom Hanks, premieres in theaters. I don't know how many of you have seen that. I loved that movie as a kid careful what you wish for um with that being said 1976 queens bohemian rhapsody makes goes gold goes gold in 1864 the battle of cold harbor was robert e lee's great confederate general during the civil war for the confederacy he wins his last land battle of the Civil War, before, in 1865 of April, he surrenders his army. 1946, for you who uh, are feeling this heat today, the very first bikini was displayed in Paris on this day, 1946. 1964, yeah, Rolling Stones, you got a little music here. 1964, Rolling Stones begins their first U.S. tour. And in 1967, Aretha Franklin's song, Respect, goes number one. I hope you enjoyed these little facts today. Have a great June 3rd, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye now. Okay, guys, uh, two stories in today's gaming news. The first one isn't exactly gaming-related, it's movie-related. Um, James Cameron has begun self-quarantining in New Zealand, so he can begin starting the production of Avatar 2. Also, Sony is delaying their video game software announcement it's supposed to be on Thursday so other publishers can have their voices heard. I guess those that are a little behind because of the times right now, um, they want to give them a chance to have something complete so they can present it properly. There you go. Um, all right. Have a good positive day, guys. Hey, guys. Happy Wednesday morning. But you know, every day should be happy. Not just Wednesday because Thursday, Friday, and then Friday. Woohoo! Every day should be an exciting day because every day is another day so that you can work on your goals and your dreams. You ever heard the saying, there's not enough hours in the day? There's not. So let's utilize every day so that we don't run out of hours in the day and hours in the week. How are you all so positive all the time, Joe? I'm not. I have negative days. But the secret that I'm going to share with you right now is when those negative thoughts start to come my way, I start putting positive thoughts in their place. Therefore, chasing the negativity away with the positivity, and then I start getting positive results. See, I just messed up right there. Positive results. And with those positive results, I can smile and say, whoops, I just messed up a few seconds ago. Oh my gosh, edit it out. No. Because, you know, I make mistakes too. So, anyways, hey, you guys have a great day out there. Keep working towards those goals. Those drawings done. What does a fryer wood frog look like to you in your mind? I'm working on mine. So, you guys... Have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. Those drawing in and happy firewood fog hunt. Hey guys, Clayton here talking about swimming in the summer. So we're out here in the summer practicing safety in the water because it's so hot. You need to practice safety and make sure you don't swim in dangerous places. Also remember, if you train real hard, you can win a gold medal just like Clayton. All right guys, so that's my little PSA since it's kind of slow for sports today. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to chillax in the pool a second. So I want you guys to have a great rest of the week and keep practicing water safety. All right, I'm going to just relax now sitting in the pool.
See you guys later. Always good stuff. Always good stuff. Joe, man. Joe loves to get into it. You never know what Joe's going to do. Gabrielle? I guess it's one of those days. Everybody else, good job, good job, good job. This is the morning routine. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for showing up to all our events. Remember, you don't want to miss out because you never know what's going to happen. See you guys later.